So we had a bit of time to head to like the further south of the west coast to Kaohsiung, which is pronounced nothing like it looks because you'd think it starts with a G, but it does not. Um, we had a few hiccups here and there. Justin had to visit the doctor, but he's okay. Side note, though, they have amazing health care here. We saw the doctor, he got medicine, and we paid basically pennies in less than 10 minutes. It was like, in, efficiency, this is what's wrong with you, here's the medicine, on your way. So we came here specifically for two different attractions. Number one was the Dome of Light. So when you look this up online, it's like beautiful pictures of this mural, and it says it's the largest glasswork in the world. So we're like, where is it? Oh, it's at this train stop. Well, we'll, we'll just take the train and then exit at that train stop and look at the Dome of Light. We get to the train stop and we're like, where is it? I wonder. We're like following signs. We exit. We're like, mm, which direction do we go? I don't see the signs anymore. Uh, it turns out we were standing in the Dome of Light, so that's how obvious it is. <laughs> Once we saw everyone taking Instagram photos, though, we knew we were in the Dome of Light. It kind of looked like um, the library in the movie A Page Master. I don't know if people watch that movie ever, but in the movie, like, the library has all these elaborate drawings on the top of the ceiling, and then they start to, like, melt off the top. So it kind of looked like that. The pictures make it look cooler than I think it actually is, but it really was beautiful. And the pictures are kind of creepy if you look at them close up. So it was definitely something to see, but definitely not something to, like, travel there to see. The second thing, though, was, like, way better than expected. The Fo Guan Shan Buddha Museum. We were like, well, it's already late. Like, are we going to make it out there? Because you have to take a really long bus ride. It's, like, an hour away. We're like, well, we saw the other Buddha, but everyone was like, no, this one's so much better. So we go. And it was so much better. It was, like... Separated into three different parts, it's the largest Buddhist monastery in Taiwan, and it's kind of like a Disney World for Buddha. There's like some shows happening, there's like a bunch of different temples, it lights up at night, and you can even spend the night there. There's like a hotel in the monastery. There's even like attractions, like there's a Pokemon park, and it was just beautiful. Like there were, there were monks everywhere that were super friendly and were helpful in like pointing us in the right directions. And plus they had a Jade Buddha, so that was pretty cool. So 10 out of 10, do recommend going to Fo Guan Shan Buddha Museum and on your way to catching a bus, definitely go to the Dome of Light. After there, we were like, okay, well, that was the last stop on this bus, so if we get back on that bus, we can go back. And Justin checked the Google Maps and it was like, you can't go all the way back to like the city center where our hotel was on this bus, but you have to take it outside of the city and then switch buses to a different bus. So we're like, okay, we'll do that. We get on the bus and Justin's been having this problem with his phone where he has his maps open and then all of a sudden his map closes and then he can't re-access the map anymore. So that happened when we're going to, we're already on the bus, there's no Wi-Fi and we can't get the map back. So we decided to get off the bus. No one speaks English, so we're walking around like, how do we get back to Kaohsiung? And they're all like, we're like, crap, and we show them the, like, the map that has no information on it because it's closed, so there's no names or anything. And the people are like, so we have to wander until we can find Wi-Fi, which is usually pretty easy in the cities, but since this was kind of like out in a weird area, there wasn't a lot of Wi-Fi. So we just wandered around until we found someone's unlocked Wi-Fi passcode um, and <laughs> used that. And then we had to walk back to exactly where we started to get on another bus to get back. So I have taken over map responsibilities since then, and we haven't gotten lost since then. So that's how that worked out. If you like my vlog, please like, comment, and share with others. And if you haven't already, please over here, subscribe. Thanks.